Hi, my name is Tracy Inot and I'm with Delta County Libraries. Thank you for joining me today. This video is intended to give an overview of the student library card program that is available to you. It is intended for school staff members, administrators, and teachers who are considering using student library cards in their classroom or school. I'm going to begin by giving an overview of the card itself and how it works. Then I'm going to give a very brief demonstration on how to access the online resources that are available with the card. And then I will explain how you can request cards. So first of all, student library cards are available to all students in Delta County. Cards must be requested and distributed by school staff members. So uh, if a principal would like to request cards for the entire school, we can process a request that way or individual teachers uh, can request cards for their specific classroom or maybe a grade level in their school. Cards are good for one full school year and the following summer. So if you request cards in August, they're gonna last you that whole school year and then through that following summer. Uh, we don't want your students to lose access to those valuable resources over the summer break. Every school year, we will process a new request for your school. So when students come back in August, you'll simply need to request how many cards you need for the upcoming year, and we will process that request for you. Any student can have a library card, even if they have a personal library card that has fines on it. Um, so all students can have access to these resources no matter what their previous history or current status is with a personal card. The student library card does not allow students to check out physical materials from the library. Therefore, there is no possibility that your students can accrue fines by utilizing the student library card. So there's two ways in which you can request cards. We can create little black cards for you like this here that you can hand out to your students. Um, the barcode along, along the bottom of the card is what's going to give your students access to the resources. Or if you'd prefer, we can just create these barcodes for you. They are stickers which you can peel off and you can put directly on student Chromebooks for the year or on student ID cards. So when you uh, place your request with us, you'll just need to let us know which way you would prefer to have your cards made. Either way is fine. So once you have your student library cards and you have either handed them out or placed them on Chromebooks, your students will begin to be able to access valuable resources through our website downloadable books, audiobooks, online classes, uh, reliable and trustworthy research databases, and so much more. I'm going to give you a very brief demonstration. So I'm going to share my screen with you right now. And the first thing that you and your students will wanna do when you begin using the library cards is go to the homepage of our website, deltalibraries.org. And from the homepage of our website, along the top navigation, you can hover over online library, and it's gonna give you a drop down list of the different resources that are available online with your student library cards. For the purposes of the video today, I'm going to scroll down to do research. And what you'll see here is some subjects along the top, which will filter the results of the list. And you'll also see below that the entire list of our online resources in alphabetical order. So again, for the purposes of today's video, I'm going to filter this down by clicking on Homework Help. 
And this is really going to kind of narrow down the resources that you're, you may be interested in for your classroom. So we have research databases, an online encyclopedia, online classes, etc. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics today of how to access and utilize these specific resources, but I will be creating additional videos that go um, into more specifics about how to utilize these resources. Additionally, if you don't find what you're looking for in a video that I've created, you can always request a more personalized, in-depth demonstration from me. So, how to request cards. There's a couple of different ways you can request student library cards. Uh, one is if you go to our website and under education on the navigation bar, if you click on resources for schools, first of all, I'd like to point out that much of the information that I have shared with you today is available here on this printable PDF. Okay. Additionally, from this page, you can request student library cards. If you click here, it's going to give you a form and you can just enter your information and submit it and it will come directly to me. Uh, additionally, you can request cards by emailing me at tinot at deltalibraries.org or calling me at 970-234-7176. So thank you for joining me today. Again, this is just a very basic overview to introduce you to the student library cards. Um, I am available uh, for more <clears throat> in-depth demonstrations and um, you can also find a library of videos that will introduce you to specific resources and how to utilize them in the classroom. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.